Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Today we're gonna be looking at this serpenty look that I've created using all of my kind of snake inspired uh, palettes. So I have five palettes that have something to do with snakes or like reptiles and stuff. And this is the look that I was able to create with it. So if that's something that you're interested in, definitely keep on watching. Also, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Sasha. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, especially eyeshadows, and I love snakes and uh, like snake-themed makeup. So hopefully you like at least one of these things as well. And let's just get right into this. Get ready with me. I think I want to do halo eye today. And we're gonna start with the Shall We Makeup Liana palette. I want to order the Mist Witch and the Wolfa palette. Um, I think I'm gonna have to order it in a couple of weeks. Uh, because right now, as I'm filming this, there's a big monolith launch coming. So after that, I will, I will uh, buy the two palettes. And there are two shades that we use from this palette. We're gonna start with the shade Trap Queen. And then we're also gonna use the shade Silver Snake uh, later on. So we're starting with the Trap Queen. I'm taking my Singe Beauty brush. This is the EO6 brush, which I've been loving so, so, so much lately. And we're just gonna build the crease with this. I've already primed my lid. I've used the e.l.f. eye primer. I don't know what it's called, but I'm gonna link it down below. The next shade I'm gonna take from the Hella palette. And we're gonna use two shades from this one as well. We have Venom here, which I think I will use. But I also want to use the shade Ouroboros. I think that's how it's called, because I think Ouroboros is the snake. This one. Uh, from the Norse mythology so it should still fit somehow and I just need like deeper shade and I'm taking the Singe Beauty EO5 for the deep green shade I love this deep green such a beautiful shade and as I said or I hope I said we're gonna do the halo eye so we're gonna put some over here. And then some over here. So I think we're almost done with the matte portion for the upper eye. Okay. For the last matte shade that we're gonna use in this video, I'm taking the shade Gothic from uh, Cosmic Brushes and I'm taking this shade which is also called Serpent does it fully fit the upper part? no but it's another Serpent shade and I just thought because otherwise it would be a whole green look which I don't know if that's something you're interested in considering that all of my looks pretty much are green so And I feel like this is, and I'm putting it on the lower lash line, by the way. I feel like this is one of the purples that kind of fit with green. Or maybe that's just because I'm weird, but I just really like shades like this with green. So something like that. I don't know if I want to do like a wink with the purple. Maybe I could... Maybe you could do like a little bit of a purple wing. By the way, I have this brush. This is from Essence. It was like in a Jurassic World collection or was it Jurassic Park? I know I had, the, I had the brush set and also the palette, which I no longer have. And a lot of the brushes are actually really nice. I was kind of surprised because they were so inexpensive and I like this brush and there's also one for uh, like a little bit smaller blending brush that I also use quite a lot 
I'm just really surprised. Sometimes they really surprise me with their quality. Okay, sorry for the change of light, but it's it's really bright outside right now and I can't see anything. So, <clears throat> we're done with the matte portion. I've also applied the NYX glitter primer and I don't know if I've explained that, uh, explained why we're doing the halo eye, but I just kind of wanted to copy the uh, like shape of snake eyes. Like they're usually, when you draw them right, there's like the little slit in the middle and then there it's like a really round eye so i just kind of wanted to like copy that now we're gonna use the shade venom from the hella palette and i'm taking another cinch beauty beauty brush and it's the eo one i actually really like this for shimmers i didn't expect that it's gonna be that great but it's actually really nice and we're gonna take the shade Venom and use it at the kind of like uh, corners. And I love green, so obviously most of my collection is green and a lot of that is also something with snakes because I love snakes. But I wish I had some shades that are like snake inspired and aren't green because obviously snakes come in ma many colors so i wish there was other shades than just greens or serpenty shades i don't know if this sentence made any sense if i'll ever be able to like do this video again maybe later when i'll have more palettes with shades like that I would really hope that there would be other colors than green and that one purple. <laughs> so let me finish this part and I'll be right back. Now we are moving into another palette and that will be the Serpent palette by Mika Beauty Shop. I've bought this like a year ago I believe. I think they've launched it a year ago and I just love this palette and it has this shade called Venom so we're gonna put that in the middle of our lid and this is beautiful kind of yellowy green shade as you can see it's even more bright it's even brighter and like shinier than the previous shade which was also called Venom and I love both of these are literally one of my favorite tones of greens so and this brush is amazing for picking them up and not have too much um too much of fallout okay now uh i am gonna take the shade Serpent from the Laura palette by Unearthly Cosmetics and it's kind of like a greeny pinky color and we're gonna use this one on a, on a lower lash line in the middle of the lash line Since it has that a little bit more of a pinky tone to it. I just thought it could really fit. Now I'm gonna take back the brush that I've applied the purple shade with and I'm just kind of I'm just cleaning like the edges of the look. Now I'm gonna take another smaller brush and I'm gonna use the shade Basilisk from the Lord palette because again it's a snake right and I'm gonna use that at the absolute end of the lid to make it even deeper there by the way this is also a very random essence brush and it's great for packing like shimmers 
Okay, so that was the lower palette and now we're gonna go back to Liana. We started with her and we're gonna finish with her. I'm taking a small refer brush, this is the 03. And I'm taking the shade Silver Snake. And we're gonna put it in the absolute inner corner. Ooh. This eye look is turning out to be quite cool. As I said, like for the past week, I've been pretty much doing like very basic looks or like very quick looks. And I've been pretty much only wearing like a green or purple, but as like a mono, um, monochromatic look because doing more than one color in a look when you have like 20 minutes and it's not really, and I'm doing it when it's still dark outside so i have to only use like ring lights and i don't know if you've ever tried ring lights but they're not very the colors like the eyeshadow doesn't look completely the same with ring lights and it's kind of it's kind of a hazard to do your makeup with that because then you step outside and it looks completely different so in the lower lash line i kind of want to use this deep green called outer space by colourpop but i don't know if it would fit completely or i could use a green from odin's eye with this lavender one hmm i'm very torn with what i should use in my waterline but i think i'm gonna go with colourpop I've been really enjoying this new um, pencils from Colourpop. I really like them. Yeah, I think so. Because I like that it's kind of almost like black, but it's not actually black. Because I don't love having black in my waterline. I think it's a little bit too much. Especially since I don't wear like super, super dark makeup right like i'm i'm not really doing doing like a god makeup or something like that but i still wear like i'd say like medium don't looks right like i don't go too hard with the dark colors at least i don't think so also i'm using the level up mascara from colourpop which i'm almost out because i think this is like my 48th use or something but i really like this pencil because it's not completely black so it's not too strong but it's also deeper because a lot of my pencils are like pastels which i love pastels in my waterline but also sometimes i want to do something different and i want to do a little bit more darker rangier look so yeah something like that so let me finish up the mascara and i'm gonna show you the rest and then we're gonna get into like blushes and stuff because i have planned for that as well okay another change of light i swear today it's like it's cloudy and it's weird it's changing all the time so i've finished the mascara i've used my essence um multitask concealer now i'm gonna use the she glam a flow down color bloom day glow liquid blush it's still going i thought i'm gonna already use it up because it looks like there isn't really all that much of product left but it's still going it's still going. I don't know if it's immortal, but or if it keeps like regenerating itself like snakes do. I don't know, but it's impossible to use it up. I've used it so many times and it was so inexpensive. Like I don't understand how they did it, but this will last you probably like for a whole century. But like it, the packaging is very light at this point like i genuinely feel like there's not a lot of product 
and yeah i'm just i don't know also i love this shade because it's kind of like um blush but you can also use it slightly as a bronzer you know to just kind of give your face a little bit of i don't know color and like shape and stuff like that also i'm breaking out like crazy because you know nerves and i've been a little sick and the couple of wonderful days that happen every month are coming so you know it's just a whole salad of things. Now for the highlighter. I bought these sheets from She Glam and they're like animal print templates. So you have like, you know, giraffe and zebra and stuff like that. And then there are a couple kind of like snake like So it's, there's this which i think it's kind of like crocodile or something i don't know i don't know if we would use that because it has very big holes and you have this which i quite like and then you have this and this is like very fishnetty type of thing i might use that one later for like mermaidy looks but i think i could like press it on my face and then uh, for the actual highlight, I'm going to mix two highlighters. So I'm going to take the NYX Fate Saga highlighter and I'm going to use this greeny bluish one. And then I might actually top it with the serpent shade from uh, the Lore palette. And we're starting with the NYX one. And I really like this one. I wish they would have more of these because I think this was the only one that they made like this. And it's kind of like a very wet looking, glossy, almost iridescent highlighter. And I would really want more like these. So should we do it? I, should, I think we should do it like this. So yeah, we're just going to use it as a template and put it kind of kind of at the spots where I would normally put highlighter and since you can't go back and forth with this like you have to use it and then like go to the other cheek so I'm gonna make sure to like actually load my face with the highlighter because I'm not gonna be able to do this again you know, like to go over it. Oh, I don't know if you see it, but I see it. And it looks fun. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? Haha, <laughs> that's fun. It's kind of like very unassuming when you look like front. But then you have this, and I like that it goes from blue at the like up blue at the top and then like pinky orange at the bottom okay so i repeated the same thing on the other cheek and now for the lip i'm gonna use the unearthly devour lip uh in the shade predator Pre predate predat predator I have no clue how to actually pronounce that name, but I really want to buy like a brownie um, matte lipstick, maybe from the Vinyl Ink collection from Maybelline and use this lip gloss over like some kind of brownie lip, because in my opinion that would be just absolutely gorgeous so here is the finished look i have something in my eye and i don't see do you sometimes have those like really weird strings in your eye like kind of like i don't even know what these are but yeah i couldn't see for a bit but now i can 
And here is the finished look. Oh, yeah, you can see the cheeks. Maybe even this cheek. Maybe. <laughs> but I really like this look. I haven't played like this for a while and I just... I don't know, it makes me happy. And I think I needed it today, so... Hope you like this look. Sorry that I'm showing you, like close-up of my nose the whole time especially now that it's crusty from blowing it all the time but yeah what can you do i'm gonna try to show you like the flip of the shade um god what was it called basilisk the deepest shimmer it goes to blue which i thought would be nice with the purple liner and yeah I'm really happy with this look. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you would be able to recreate this look or if you would be able to create a look similar with like similar palettes. Let me know how many of these palettes do you have and if you have any other palettes that are kind of like reptilian, serpenty, snake oriented because I love snakes. Like, they're one of my favorite animals. Obviously, I love dogs and I love bunnies and stuff like that. But snakes are so cool and so different and just so exciting for me. So let me know how many palettes do you have with snakes. Or if you have any other like animal or theme that you always go for when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I hope you have a great day. And I will be very happy to see you in my next video. Bye!